my seat. If you want to hang around, you're crazy. What is true love? What are the elements that manifest these feelings? Is it within desire to not only be a part of something, but it to be a part of you? Is it within being complete in its presence, yet removed from oneself in absence thereof? Can the paragon sense of love be the same within a wild sky, as it is in a lover's eye? It is of only good, and I believe it to be the force driving us to find the means to push past pain and suffering we experience in the now, in hopes of understanding and knowing the satisfaction of achieving the end. But then again, what is the end we seek? Something within reach? Or is it only ever further from what we know? True love is ubiquitous to many and unique to all. And whatever it may be to you, it is yours to not only offer, but to seek. And when you find it, what will you do to keep it free, to keep it alive? Wait on Flatliner. Ooh. Well. We worked way up here today. A lot higher than Trad's legs want to go, but we're here. It's probably going to be a cold, restless night, but uh, we're just kind of committing to it. <clears throat> it's a lot of work to get up here. We, uh, our main camp, the Cimarron's down in the bottom at 2180 in elevation, and right now we're at about 68. So it's a pretty significant climb to get up here. But uh yeah, we're kinda this was a short hunt. I was, you know, just kinda hopeful that we could find a nice buck in a few days and we've seen some deer, some decent deer, but just nothing that was like, you know, mature to the fact that it had that that wow factor to it that made you made you say, Yeah, I think I think I wanna shoot that deer. But uh as we were talking and joking earlier, we're thinking that one buck is, he's about to that point now. And uh, if we don't see anything decent tonight, which we're running out of time, it's getting pretty dark already. On the way down tomorrow, tomorrow to the main camp, if we see that buck again, I think, I think it might be our last encounter with him. Who knows though, maybe we find something a little better a little more mature on the way down in the morning too so all we're gonna do is kinda finish up the evening here put some glass down and work back to our, our nice uh, little campsite the Ritz the Ritz on the ridge and uh, yeah tonight's gonna call for a good fire Well, it's cracking light on us. Actually, it wasn't that bad of a night. It wasn't as cold as I was thinking it was going to be. We did get a little rain through the night. <clears throat> but the tarp mostly kept us dry. Kind of held in some of the ground condensation, but uh, wasn't bad. It's not that cold out, so we're just going to work our way back down the mountain towards the river and the main camp kind of slowly working down and hunting along the way 
hopefully we can uh, connect with the buck today because I think today we're going to pack up and hit the rafts and go down the river. So um, once we once we hit the confluence and it's over for trad, so we're going to try to find him something this morning. Fingers crossed. Things like 19, isn't he? Probably him or nothing there. It might be. Just want to sit down. Just give her a smidge. That's what we need. They go around this tree, and then if you we're gonna move over. I can shoot him down for this. I can shoot him down for his back. That's a lot better than a deer way up on top of this thing. Yeah, I don't know that I had the legs to pull one off of there anyhow. Yeah. It's in the giant, but you know what? Last day. Last day, we put miles in. It was a quick hunt, but we it yeah. hasn't been easy on us either. No, not a giant, but we'll have something to remember. Yeah. Some meat in the freezer. Some meat in the freezer, no doubt. Let's uh, work down there, huh? Let's get this guy taken care of. We can get on the river today. Yeah. That's young buck. He's young. He's gonna eat good now. Still. Thank God that head tucked underneath him. Yeah. He'd have been down in that. Wow. For most I know of that hunt, it is not a pastime nor a hobby. It is their identity. It is a way of life that they live out with their deepest passion. But what is it about hunting that we love so much? Why do we sacrifice so much time, energy, and thought into it? Perhaps it's because no matter how experienced we may be, we can never truly master it. And with each new trip we take, there is always something new to learn. We can always find growth within. And for some, there is a strong spiritual connection found within the hunt. We ran into the corners of the love we choose to make. Times things unfold as if the words we put into the universe without ever opening our mouths have been heard. And those we wish to speak to, but know are much too far to hear us, have been spoken for. And when these desires for a sign to be heard have been answered, the only thing left to do is take what you've been given. Never forget you, love bird. Buck down. My camera battery is dead. So, uh, I'm doing it on the old cell phone. But, um, it's not a big buck at all. Which I wasn't really holding out for anything big because I've only got the day to hunt. But, um, 
It's just having kind of a little video recording that went a little longer than I wanted it to on my main camera here. Getting some thoughts out of my head and it's just one of those weird things, you know, like an instance where you, you're looking off at an area and you're like, man, I bet there's a deer there and you pick up your binoculars and they're right there. I just had this feeling after I cut the camera off of what I was saying. I just turned my head and I was like, God, it'd just be awesome if there's a buck walking right out there. And I turned my head. That's exactly what it was. That deer was walking by himself on the hillside. Looks like a little four point. I'm gonna go see. I'm gonna work him up and then wrap him around this hill. Get him down to the rafts and we're gonna work our way out of here, so. It's been a good trip. But it's about to get real fun here. Steep country. Let's go check this buck out. Should be good eating deer though. Should be really good eating deer. Little three point. Just a little guy, but that's okay. This ain't a trophy hunt anyway. There's no doubt some big deer in this country, but I just ain't got the time to be selective. I had to be lucky. And uh, if anyone knows me, luck ain't my thing. <laughs> I'm gonna work this guy up and uh, get him to the river. We're gonna get down and go have a nice, nice burger and a beer and Riggins. <laughs> if you find your true love in this life, no matter who or what it may be, and everything that you do in between now and the end is to keep that love free, to keep it alive. Well, in the end, it could only be a life that was lived to its fullest.